Today we're going to make a monster pot. So a monster pot is a pinch pot that we're going to be adding things to by scoring the clay. So we're going to have a sheet of newspaper to keep the table from getting dirty. And you're going to get eight ounces of clay. And first thing you have to do is divide your clay. So I want to take about uh, a little less than half off. That's going to be for all my parts. This is going to be the pot. So the first thing I have to do is knead the clay. So I'm going to kind of pump it between my hands over and over again until it gets really mixed up. And then make it into a nice ball. Don't spend a lot of time trying to get it perfect because every time you touch the clay, you're drying it out. Now I'm going over all the creases and kind of crossing them over so they don't turn into cracks. So any, anytime you see like a piece like that where it's a line, just cross it over like that. Ball it up again, and that's good enough. Don't roll it around and around on your paper to make it perfect. This is a pinch pot. So we start by pushing our thumb down and then only put one thumb inside. Start on the bottom, work your way around, and slowly work your way up to the top. If you go too fast, it's going to get lumpy. Don't make it too thin either because it has to be able to support all of these parts. So it's going to be like a big head and mouth all together. I want to leave these, this part thicker. That's going to be like the lips of my monster. You can see we're going to, we're going to go like that a little bit. And I'll just check it make sure it's good. Smooth out any cracks. The last thing you're going to do is if you have cracks is put water on it. Try not to use lots of water. It makes it actually weakens the clay and it makes it mushy. All right, so I'm getting a good mouth shape there. All right, that's going to be my monster's mouth. Now I'm going to make the parts. So I can make eyeballs, teeth, a nose, tongue, feet, arms, tentacles, whatever I want. Arms, tentacles, feet, teeth, all can be started as a coil. A coil is a piece of clay that has been rolled out, starting in your hands. And then you decide how thick you want it. So if I want it to be thinner, I just keep rolling it. But I don't want it to be too thin. I think I'm going to make eyeballs on kind of like stems so they're coming up up and out like that so that'll make a good stem I'm going to take my popsicle stick cut that in half now I have two stems that I'm going to attach here and here for the eyes and then I need two balls for the eyes so be careful I'm running out of clay already I want them to be about the same size so that one's a little too big Still too big. Those look about the same. I'll roll them in my hand, make a nice little ball. All right, now I am ready to attach. When you attach clay together, the best way to attach it is to score it. So scoring clay, you need something sharp like a fork or a sharpened stick, paintbrush, and some water. I'm going to put a little water on here, here, and then here and here where I want them to be attached. I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to scrape that so it has nice deep grooves in it. And then I'm going to scrape the spot where I'm going to attach it with nice deep grooves. And then I'm going to take my piece and push it in there and then clean it up. So I'll smooth it down. I'll make sure I can use my 
that, or I can use my popsicle stick, kind of smooth that out, and I'll take my finger to finish it off. All right, now I'll stick this one on. All right, I want those to kind of bend forward like that. And I can see it's kind of coming off, so I want to push that down better. All right, then I have to do the same thing here. Score these parts and the balls of the eyeball. So get them a little wet, and then take this. I'll just show you. You can use this piece, this tool too, but it's easier with the fork because you can score four lines at once. If I was doing really small stuff I would use a special tool called a needle tool to do my scoring. There's one eyeball and there's two. I don't want to do any details yet. I want it to kind of stiffen up before I do any details. So I'm going to put that like that now. I'm going to lay it on the paper just like that so that these can have a chance to harden a little bit so they don't bend all over. Alright, now I need to decide what to do with the mouth. I think I'm actually I'm going to start with a tongue. And I'm, th I'm just going to do the head, I think. I'm not going to make a, any arms because I won't have enough clay. But I do want a tongue. So I'm going to roll out a coil. And I'll use my this stick like a little rolling pin to make a tongue. Don't make anything too thin. That's, that's about thin enough. has to be able to be strong enough to be moved around. Draw that line down the middle just to get started. And I'm going to score this in there like, like that so it's sticking out. So I'll get a little water on there and a little water there. Popsicle stick, or, or I'm sorry, fork. Fork. Attach it. Some I can make it pointy. Blech. All right. All right. Teeth. I can add teeth in. Actually, I think I will. I'm going to add teeth. So I want two rows of teeth. I'm going to take this and make a coil. And I'm going to attach it in here like this. And then I'm going to make teeth out of these. Instead of trying to put one, two, three, four, you know, little teeth in, I'll take this in there and I'll just pinch these into teeth. So this will be my top teeth. And my bottom, I'm just going to put on either side of the tongue. So I'll cut that in half. All right, and I'll score those in. Put some water on there. Work that up. And I'll get these wet where they're attached. One, two, three. And score those. That one first. this up before I make the teeth. And score those two parts. Did I score that? Yeah. Look like little French breads. <laughs> Clean
clean up so I don't see the score marks. And I want to make teeth, so I'm going to clean that tool off. I'll start right in the middle. And actually split that. So I'm just drawing lines to get started. Now I could leave them like that. Those are kind of fun. Or I could make them pointy. I think I want to leave them like this. But if I want to make them bigger, I'll just pinch them down so you can see. I can pinch them down after I cut them. And then I can go back over. You know what? I'm going to draw gums on these. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see better. All right. So I'll get that cleared up. Now I can get quite a few details right now, but oh, see I got some water sitting in there and it's making the clay crack. Alright, I'm going to go like this, push each one up a little bit so it looks like it has gums. So I'm using the back end of my stick to make it rounded at the top. Clear up any messes I have in there, separate the teeth a little better again. Notice I'm not separating them all the way to the top because that'll kind of weaken it. All right. Those are pretty cool teeth. Right now I think I'm going to work on the eyes a little bit. I'll put a little dot in the center of each eye and then a dot in the center of each of those eyes. And I, if I want to do like bloodshot lines or anything, I can add that later. I don't have to do all I don't have to do everything with texture into the clay. I can draw and paint, or I'm sorry, paint a lot of details into this. All right, let's get those bottom teeth. I'll try something different this time. I'll use my popsicle stick to draw a little, put little spaces in between the teeth. So I got one, two, three, four, one. Now, it doesn't matter if they're the same on both sides. I just wanted to make them that way. This time I'm going to use my stick to push them towards my finger. Oh, that looks good. Alright, I'm out of clay, so I'm going to have to be happy with what I've got here. I think I'm going to center that a little more, and I'm just going to test it out. I want it to sit nicely. So it'll rest kind of on that tongue. So there's my monster pot. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to add a nose by just pushing down and back. Down and back. And I'm going to touch this up. It's cracking again. And right now, if I wanted to add textures, I could add some textures. Like if I want to make the lips all like dot, dotted up with this. Actually, I like that. So I'm going to give it some dot texture. So they look kind of rough. But I'll leave the teeth kind of smoother. So there's some. contrast between the lips and the teeth. Yeah, this is looking cool. All right. Don't forget to put your name on it. So you just write your name usually on the bottom, but if you don't can't flip it over or whatever, you can put it somewhere on the side. Don't make it super 
deep or scraped in really hard, so I'm just going to write my name up right on the very bottom. All right. And that's it. That is a monster pot. Once these are fired, they'll be bisque fired, so they'll be white. And then we're going to use our watercolor paints to add more details and to paint them. And then we'll cover them with Mod Podge to keep them, to seal the paint and to make them shiny, which will actually brighten the colors. All right, I hope you enjoy making Monster Pots today.